Hey guys, welcome to the video. You can see I changed the camera angle a little bit and I got a cute plant over here. I've changed the whole atmosphere of the room. I hope you guys like it. If you don't, I'll go back to my previous desk. Coming to the actual video, I'll tell you an effective training method which will definitely give you results if you follow it perfectly. Trust me, it's almost like a hack. You just need to train a little bit every day and it's really easy to execute. Stay tuned till the end of this video so you won't miss out on anything and I promise you, you will see results if you follow this method. Before understanding on how to increase your reps for push-ups, pull-ups or in fact any other moment, it's important to understand the perfect technique use and the form. Let's take an example of a push-up. The correct form would be hands shoulder width apart, full range of motion and protraction of scapula at the top of the motion and there are many small cues engaging your core etc etc. Keeping all these cues in mind while doing the repetition versus just mindlessly repping out will have a day and night difference and we don't want that. Quality always greater than quantity. Don't prioritize the numbers, how much weight you're doing in any exercise. Like Let's say you're doing strength training. Don't see the number of weights you're doing, see the correct form. If your form is good, the numbers will come automatically. Now you may ask, Sujit, I can't even do a push-up with perfect form like that. What should I do? Don't worry, just work with the progression which you can do. For every movement pattern, there are levels to achieve it. Let's say if you can't do a full push-up. First, do wall push-ups for a while. With the technique I'm going to tell you further in this video, and after doing wall push-ups, you'll slightly increase your strength. Then you can go to a slightly declined object that you can do push-ups on a couch or your bed. After doing these for a while, you will get strong enough to do a knee push-up. After you do knee push-ups for a while, you will be able to do a full normal push-up with perfect form. But keep in mind, while doing these progressions too, you need to keep all the cues in mind. Coming to the actual training method which we are going to implement to increase our reps is called Grease the Groove. The phrase was first coined by Pavel Saxolin in his book Power to the People, Russian Military Secrets for Every American. He's a Russian military officer and a strength coach. I highly recommend reading this book as it covers a lot of secret methods and training protocols which Russian military used and one of the method is grease the groove. In that book, Pavel said that muscle failure is more than unnecessary. It's actually counterproductive. Neuroscientists have known for half a century that if you stimulate a neural pathway for the movements you want to achieve, you're more likely to succeed than going to failure in every session. Let me explain this in simple terms. You want to do the movement which you want to achieve on a regular basis without going to failure. That is, you need to grease the neurological groove so that you get more neurological adaptations for the movement you're doing and eventually the movement gets easier for your body to do. Let's see how you can implement grease the groove in your training. First, we have to choose one, maybe two exercises which you want to increase your reps. I recommend doing only one exercise at a time because you want to get more familiar with the exercise. So choose an exercise which you want to get better at. For example, let's say you want to get better at push-ups. And after finding out which exercise you want to get better at, the second step would be test out the maximum of reps which you can do with perfect form on day zero. Let's say you want to increase your push-ups, you tested your maximum and you can do 10 push-ups which you want to increase over time but for now you can do 10 push-ups with proper form. After finding out the number of push-ups you can do on day zero, you will work with 50 to 80% intensity of that variation and for 4 to 6 sets in a day, for four to six days in a week. And remember, all the sets should be divided throughout the day with at least 30 minutes gap between each set. Exercise you're greasing on a daily basis should not be included in your daily routine. That is, in this case, you shouldn't be doing push-ups on your regular workouts. Greasing the groove is a separate training protocol which shouldn't be mixed with the actual routine you're doing. Now I'll show you an example on how to implement grease the groove. Let's take an example of a push-up. And the PDF which I'm going to show you in my screen is linked down in the description below. So do check it out. Now coming into the Grease the Group training method, the intensity chart is 50 to 70 percent intensity, six sets a day, four to six times a week. This can be 80 percent intensity too, but working with 50 to 70 percent intensity is more than enough. Regarding the sets and the number of times in a week you are doing, it's up to you. And remember, at least 30 minutes rest between each set. So let's say you want to increase your push-ups. Now on day zero, test your maximum repetitions with perfect form. So on day zero, assume that your maximum push-ups were 10. For week one, you'll work with 50% intensity. You can either work with 60 at the start to 70 at the start to, but I prefer doing with low intensity for the first week. 
work with 50% intensity that would be 5 reps doing 5 reps you won't burn out right so do 5 reps in the morning 5 reps in the afternoon 5 reps in the evening 5 reps in the night so 4 days in a week means you can do it on monday you can do it on wednesday friday and saturday you can rest in between alternative days and on week 2 you'll spike up the intensity a little bit 60% intensity and you'll work with 6 reps that five sets a day now you'll do morning one set afternoon one set evening one set and maybe night giving a gap of one hour two sets you'll work with five days in week 3 you'll work with 70% likewise you'll work with uh, in week 4 but in week 4 do a deload i prefer doing a deload what deload actually means is you decrease the intensity and the total volume which you're doing so that you get good recovery but you still are getting the neurological adaptations in a day now after the four weeks training is done at the month end test your maximum with perfect form and i promise if you perfectly follow this for four weeks assume you could do 10 push ups at the start that will definitely spike up to at least 15 to 16 reps and these are a few tips that i've gave you you can check it out this pdf is available in the link down in the description below if you follow this method perfectly i promise you you will increase your reps and what you're actually doing is you are keeping the overall volume in without tiring your muscles so you'll get those neurological adaptations throughout the day you'll get more stimulus in return you will increase the number of reps which you can do i personally followed grease the groove to increase my pull ups and you won't believe me i went from 10 pull ups to 20 pull ups in just a matter of 2 months so it worked for me and don't think 1 2 months is a really big deal it's a really small amount of effort you need to keep on a daily basis so that you will reach your target and grease the groove is very seamless and it's almost like a hack so morning after you get up do one set before eating breakfast do one set before your lunch do one set and in the evening when you're bored do one set and at the night do one set the best part is you won't even feel like you're working out and struggling you just do the reps on a daily basis and in 2 months or 3 months you will see a major difference in your strength levels on that particular exercise i hope you understood how this work and a small hack i want to give you is if you want to increase your pull ups set up a bar like this on your doorway and whenever you cross the door in the day just see that you report a few pull ups in just a matter of time you will see that you increased your pull up strength a lot this trick also helped me a lot while doing grease the groove see that the exercise which doing is accessible to you and that's it for the video guys i hope you learned few things here and there in this video and do this training protocol if you really want to increase your push ups pull ups squats any exercise you can even work with static movements like front lever back lever and other movements and if you're liking the content and the things i'm putting out on a regular basis please do subscribe and i went through the youtube analytics 80% of the viewers aren't subscribed to my channel so please do subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon like share send it to your friends it will highly support me so i can make better content for you guys comment below what video you want to see next if you have any queries or doubts regarding training or nutrition you can always ping me in my instagram this method is really easy and just see that you work consistently to increase your reps or whatever goal is i'll see you in the next video then take care peace